Good morning, Ogies. Good morning, Brandon, Carrie. Nice to see you. Welcome, welcome. Sorry for the couple of minutes delay. I had to let this pop out. You're okay. You're okay. Yeah, hold your back if you need to. I just want to make sure there's my voice coming out there. Connection is unstable. Sorry, guys. Got to make sure I don't have any other windows open. Nice. Okay. Let's hope it's working. Normally, don't have an issue with the Wi-Fi, but you never know. Things can change. I'll say that again in case that didn't work. There will be a timestamp for the video when the class starts. Okay, but yeah, welcome to my channel. We're going to take a flow. We're going to hope for the best. Sometimes it doesn't work, which is why the live stream is always hit and miss. Okay, so we're going to take child's pose to start. Um, if you need props, you might need a block, um, or you can use a water bottle or a book or a can of soup. Would your hands and knees, tabletop. Move into downward facing dog. You'll lift your hips. Back. And starting here again, intentional in building up the foundation of your pose. So spread out the fingers and the toes, really root into your hands and feet. Lift up that top knee, create a big opening through your side body. Pull your heel to your glute, take one more breath in and release. You can walk to the top of your mat, take rag doll, feet hip distance apart. Grab your elbows, your biceps. Just a moment of rest now, right? Balanced action on your mat this morning or whatever time of day it might be for you when you're seeing this. So work and challenge yourself. Really be like digging through, finding that edge in the poses, feeling sensations in your body. Whatever that looks like on your own mat, that's totally personal to you. What work is, what challenging is. We balance it with moments of rest, really finding that. Sometimes you might need a rest. If I'm not, that's okay. Sometimes you might be able to do more than I'm doing. Just be in your own practice. Take a breath in. Release your fingertips down to your mat and bring your big toes to touch. We'll come up to a flat back, lengthen the spine, and then fold. Extended mountain pose. Reach your fingertips up. Bring your hands to the center of your chest. And we will start with three ohms. Take a breath in. your fingertips up and fold forward. Halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow it out. Upward facing dog, press down, lift your chest forward. Downward facing dog, take your hips back. Breathe in, breathe out. Spread your fingers and your toes. Press down the four corners of hands and feet. Eyes are open. Your drishti, your focus. Out here, right now, see something. Lift up onto your toes. Bend your knees. Look between your hands. And you'll step or hop between your hands. Halfway lift. Flat back. Fold. Extended mountain, reach up, press down into your feet. Fold forward, hug your chest back into your thighs. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana, step or shoot back, low plank. Upward facing dog, press and lift. Downward facing dog, hips back. Set up your feet, inner ankles back. Outer ankles down, really root into your mat. Three more breaths. Ujjayi. 
nice long intentional breaths fill up empty out lift onto your toes bend your knees press all that air out of your lungs hop or step to the top of your mat flat back fold extended mountain reach up you can start to go back pull the pit of your belly in and then fold forward hug your chest towards your thighs halfway lift shoulder blades integrate chaturanga dandasana flow high to low plank upward facing dog lift your thighs off the mat downward facing dog full breath in full breath out up onto your toes bend your knees pause with your lungs empty fly to the top of your mat right away fill and lengthen fold extended mountain go up and back last one here big back bend reach and then fold squeeze in get small halfway lift fill chaturanga dandasana flow upward facing lift chest forward downward facing dog hips back three breaths here in and out eyes open focus right here press down pull the pit of your belly in and up towards your ribs come up onto your toes bend your knees keep that core engagement Uddiyana Bandha squeezing hop to the top of your mat flat back fold Utkatasana chair pose sit down into your seat just gonna adjust my forest here. It's tickling the back of my head every time. <laughs> Take your hips nice and deep. So you'll scoop your tailbone down a little bit, like lift the front of your pelvis and feel your legs activate more in the thighs, more in the glutes, more in your core, squeezing in. Building heat now, yeah, tapas. Another tool to get you into your physical body. Feel from your toes to your fingers, full expression. Two more, in. Sit deeper if it's there, yogis. Play with what's possible. Take a big breath, lift your chest, and then fold, chest to thighs. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow it out. Upward facing, press, lift your shin bones, downward facing dog. Right side, warrior one. Step between your hands with your right foot. Reach your fingers up. The right hip will try to pull forward a bit, draw it back, yeah? So right hip back, left hip forward, keep them square. Arm bones back, lunge deeper. Three breaths, build it from your feet to your fingers. Full expression, possibility, potential for like another millimeter, reach for it. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow with your breath. Upward facing dog, lift up. Downward facing dog, hips back. Left side. Feet, core, fingers, full body. Pull your left hip bone back, sink down into your left knee. Breathe. Stay. Core muscles are strong. Leg muscles hugging the bones. Breathe in. Lunge deeper. Take one more breath, Yogi. Reach for it. Chaturanga Dandasana. Flow. Vinyasa. Upward facing dog. Moving with your breath. Downward facing dog. Five breaths. Press down. Soften into your joints. Make sure they're not rigid. Fluid quality. That's Vinyasa. Movements, body, thoughts, breath, all present, all connected. Breathe in. Breathe out. Eyes open. Press down. One more, full breath. Hug your muscles into the bones. Lift up onto your toes. Bend your knees. Hop to the top of your mat. Right away, flat back. Fold. 
Utkatasana, sit as deep as you can, one breath. Uttanasana, fold forward. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow it out. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Right side warrior one. Press your feet, reach up, reach back. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow it out. You can float your toes, try it on. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Take your left side, warrior one. Press down, reach up and back. Chaturanga Dandasana, left toes can hover on the way, see what happens. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Building heat. Tapas, it's in the body, it's in your breath, it's in your mind, right? Let that fiery thoughts be on the poses. Make them interesting. Disrupt that drift of thinking that takes you off your mat. Breathe in. Press down. Come up onto your toes. Bend your knees. Squeeze in and then hop to the top of your mat. Flat back. Fold forward. Utkatasana. Sink down. Uttanasana. Fold forward. Flat back. Belly in. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Right side warrior one. Root down. Reach up. Chaturanga Dandasana. Float your right toes, yogis. Try it on. See what happens. Upward facing. Downward facing dog. Take your left side. Last one here. Fullest expression that you've got right here. Chaturanga Dandasana. Left toes can hover. Upward. Downward facing dog. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. Again, fill up. And empty. Come up onto your toes. Bend your knees. Step to the top of your mat. Take a flat back. Fold. Chair. Twist to the right. Keep your shoulders integrated here. So your upper body is going to stay right where it is. Hold. Shoulder blades hugging back. Pit of your belly pulls in. Keep that squeeze. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Put more weight into your right foot. Left heel gets light. Step your left foot. Crescent lunge twist. So your left foot goes back. Everything else stays where it is. Keep shoulder integration. Breathe in. Twist deeper. Squeeze, lift that bottom lung up towards the ceiling. Take another breath in. Stay for your twist. Warrior two, open up. Whew. Sweaty. I hope that the connection's okay. I always get a good practice, but it's really irritating if you're trying to practice and I keep cutting out. I've been in those classes. But that's okay. That's part of yoga. <laughs> right? Distractions try to pop up and we choose either frustration, anger, judgment, right? All of those things are possible. Go deeper. Yeah, warrior two. Sink into it. Breathe in. Breathe out. You catch those things. That's also an option. Come back to where you are. Breathe in. Extended side angle. Left arm goes up. You can take your right elbow to your knee. If you have a block or that prop, <laughs> whip it across to the room. <laughs> you can take it to the inside of your foot. It's an option as well. Just again, sometimes bringing the ground a bit closer creates space. So like the right side of my body just feels more open with a block, more open to twist a little bit. Breathe in, breathe out, reach your fingers up, hold that, two more, inhale, sink deeper in that front knee, keep the lunge powerful in the legs, take a breath in, take a breath out, side plank, okay, so you'll plant your right hand on the ground, step your right foot back, and then find the next pose, don't fixate on the transition too much, okay, next pose, New possibility, new moment. See where you can go, Yogi. Create lift, create full body experience. Bend your top leg, okay? So step the left foot behind you. Wild thing. 
on the tips of your left toes, on the pinky toe edge of your right foot. Reach those left fingertips forward. Two more breaths. Start to lift your right hip bone up to the ceiling. Take another big inhale. Lion's breath. Ha! Ah, flip the high plank. Whew, lower down, low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Pedal out your knees. Step to the top of your mat. Fingers to toes, forward fold. So feet about hip distance apart. You'll scoop up your big toes. Ooh, I got some sweat going. So rest for a moment. Feel that. Okay, be aware of your heartbeat. Probably faster. Maybe a little faster than you want right now. Just slow it down a bit. Use your breath. It's a tool to empower you, to fire you up in some moments of this practice. And that same breath, like Ujjayi, it can flip and be so restorative. Relaxing. Just calm down for a moment. Take a breath in. Soften a little bit more. One more breath. Feet back to true north. So you want your heels just a little wider than your toes. You might not have your feet touching. Twist and chair to the left side this time. Okay, so shoulder blades drop back onto your spine. I feel that, like the tips of your shoulder blades hug into your thoracic spine, pit of your belly, all of that's locked in place, okay? So strong in that left leg, strong in your upper body, get light on your right toes, step your foot back, crescent lunge twist, okay? Now that back heel might dip back, keep it lifting forward, your back kneecap lifting forward. Breathe in and twist your spine. You can gaze up over your shoulder. See if you can twist any further. One more in and out. Warrior two, open up. Settle in, find your deepest stance here. So this pose can be so juicy. Maybe so juicy you avoid some of that. You like run away from it when you get there. Feel what you feel, yogis. Disrupt that drift of thinking. I can't do it as normally I thought, not a physical reality. A lot of the time, your beliefs are holding you back, not your capabilities. Breathe in, breathe out. Full inhale. See if you can sink like even a fraction of an inch deeper. Take one more breath. Hold for the breath out. Extended side angle. Right fingertips up. Take a breath in. Options here, the elbow on the knee, fingertips to a block. Press both feet down. And sink down into your lunge. Inhale. Exhale. Reach up, twist open, take a breath in, take a breath out. One more big inhale here, side plank, plant your hand, step your foot back. Do this on the block if it's sturdy. Take a lift up, that top leg. If your bottom knee's on the ground, this transition might not work, that's okay. Wherever you go, do something interesting, bend your right knee. Wild thing, step your foot behind you and then lift through your hips. So you'll, whoop, I don't like the block, I'm too sweaty. <laughs> lift your hips up. Feel that, like the left hip bone lifting. Right fingertips reaching, two more. Inhale, exhale, your fullest, biggest pose. Take a flip over, hide a little plank. Whew. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Good work. Step to the top of your mat. I don't even have to see you to know you're doing good work, right? Whatever you're doing, you're here. <laughs> Perfect. Palms under your feet. Gorilla pose. Just let your head go. Rest again. Just imagine that your practice was just perfect. Instead of all the other stuff, do you tell yourself about it? 
not doing it right where you're supposed to be in your life. Instead of always wanting things to be different. Being where you are, living your life in the present moment, disrupting that drift of thoughts to the past, to the future, it takes you out from what's happening actually, right here, right now. Soften even more, elbows, knees. You don't have to hold up the weight of your head here, yogis, let it go. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Release your feet. Crow pose. Palms on the mat. Look shoulder width apart and bring your knees into your armpits. I am sweaty today and we'll see how this goes. Right into your armpits. You can do this perched up on your block if you have something or a book just to get your toes a bit higher. That can really help. Start to shift forward. Start to lift up. See where you go, that hug to center, your knees hugging in, belly squeezing up. Inhale, exhale, press the ground, lift your heels a little higher, take one more breath in. Chaturanga Dandasana, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Full breath in, full breath out. Come up onto your toes, bend your knees, Hop or step to the top, flat back, fold. Sweep all the way up. Gotta adjust my mic, it's in my armpit. <laughs> Eagle pose, right arm under, right leg over, sink down into it. So bring back, if you've kind of forgot about drishti, your point of focus, it's so important in these balancing poses, see one point. Sink down into your hips, your standing knee. Breathe in, breathe out, sweep up, switch sides. Eagle on the left, your left arm under, your left leg over. Let's hug through your biceps, your inner thighs. Breathe. In and out. Again. Take a bit deeper, sweep your arms up. Right side, eagle pose. Keep that engagement, hug your belly to your spine, breathe in, sleeping eagle, keep the straight spine as you come down, elbows to knees, inhale here, squeeze as tight as you can, like into a little ball, and then inhale, airplane, unravel, fly back. Lift up through your right heel. Turn your right pinky toe down to the floor. Keep that hip squared. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lift your collarbones. Fly higher, yogis. Take a breath in. Hands to heart center. Half moon. You can use a block under your fingers, your water bottle. Maybe you can hover your fingers today. Who knows? Maybe chapasana, you bend that top knee, reach for your top ankle. Take a breath in, take a breath out. One more, look up, lift up, whoop. Release, full feet together, nicely done. Halfway lift, fold forward. Reach up, left side, eagle pose, left arm under, left leg over, hug in. Settle in, take a breath, squeeze everything to that center line, feel that engagement, create the container, take a breath in, hinge forward, stay engaged, your core muscles supporting you, full breath right here, hug tight, airplane, fly back, turn down your left hip, your left pinky toe, and then feel that up dog in the chest, like your airplane is taking off, not a crash landing about to happen. Breathe in, breathe out. One more, inhale, hands to heart center, open to your half moon. One side might be a little different than the other, just be okay with that. Your body is not perfectly symmetrical, yogis. 
You might need to modify sometimes. Who cares? Don't put bad meaning on that, right? Like your body, your pose. Begin again if you fall out. Take a big breath. And release feet together. Halfway lift. Fold forward. Sweep all the way up. On the right side, dancer's pose. Take the inside of your right foot in your hand. Kick back. And breathe. Reach forward that left arm, but draw your left shoulder blade back. Keep everything integrated. True north. Your body facing the front of your mat. Lift your heel higher. Lift your chest higher. Take a big breath in. Switch sides. Dancer on your left. Open up. Lift up. Feel big opening through the chest. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. And release. Take the other side. Feeling open today. I'm gonna go for the step up here. See what it's feeling like. Yes. Wherever you are, yogi, challenge yourself. See what's possible this morning. Right now. Right here. Whoa, big breath in. And release. Sometimes you fall. That's okay. Left side. Last one here. Go for it. Right, if you fall out, what does that mean to you? That's the question. Like falling out doesn't matter unless you make it mean that you suck, that you failed, you're not good at that pose, can't do it properly. All of that's your worst nightmare, right? You're sabotaging yourself, Yogi. Just try again, see what works, what's possible. Big breath in and release. Whew, tree. So you can take options in that leg, right? A kickstand. Sometimes for me, this feels like perfect to st support myself, right? It might be inner calf. If you're going for the inner thigh, get up above the knee. Tips to all you sweaty yogis in shorts. Get your heel into your shorts so that it doesn't slip down your inner thigh. That's a big help. And then start to expand here. Press your left leg into your foot. So it's not just one way. Both sides meeting at center. Expansion through your body. Grow your tree. See where you can take it right here. Maybe a little back bend. Lift your chest. Lengthen your spine. Big inhale. And release. Tree. Whew. On your left side. Talking through it all. That's a whole other story. <laughs> Definitely a skill that I've developed through COVID. I think my lungs are in good shape. <laughs> Find your tree pose. Grow your pose from your foot to your fingertips, the full expression, three breaths, inhale, exhale, together, breathe. Fill, lengthen, lift, and release hands to your heart center. Whew, sweep your arms up, fold forward, hug. Chest to thighs, halfway lift, Chaturanga Dandasana, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, step your right foot forward, warrior one, open to warrior two, triangle pose, straighten out your right leg, reach to the outside of your front foot. This is an amazing place for a block. Again, what this does is just brings the ground a bit closer. Everybody's body is a little different. Most people, like just to be clear, I can easily get my fingertips to the ground. This is not like that I need the block to be able to get into the pose, but it opens up space, right? You generate space in your side body, and then now there's a twist. Now there's more room to like feel the full pose, not just fixation on fingertips to the floor. Your block makes the floor meet you where you are two breaths reach and twist lengthen and open pull yourself up to stand wide leg side facing fold or headstand i'm going to go for headstand this morning so you come down 
You can just be here in the fold, not just. This is perfect. I don't like just. Makes it sound like it's less than. Right? But here, wherever you want to go, feel like your chest pulling through the window of your legs, that opening. Elbow and lifting. Like you're going upside down. You just go upside down, yogis. You don't need to wait for me. You just go. You just breathe. Five breaths. Whatever you're doing, disrupt the drift of thoughts and be alive here. Like, feel what is actually possible for you and your body. Three more. Ujjayi. Full, powerful breaths. Fill your lungs. Empty out. Headstands will slowly come back down. And we'll move into pyramid. Toes face the front of your mat. Step your back foot in. Just enough to get that heel down. It's not right at 12 o'clock, your back foot. Take it off to like 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock. <sighs> Fold over that left leg. Hmm. Really do that. Let go of the upper body so your legs are working. Left hip back. Feel that. Wake up. Press the centers of your heels down. Spiral your inner ankles back. Like your legs are working. They're alive here. Your upper body is just letting go. In. And out. Twisted triangle. Left fingers to the right foot. Twist your body over to the right side of your mat. Take a breath in. Your right hand can be on your low back or it can be reaching up. Take two more. You feel your spine lengthen, Yogi. You feel your spine twist a bit more. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Hands to your mat. Inhale as you step back. Chaturanga Dandasana, lower down. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left side, warrior one. The two. Triangle pose, straighten the front leg. Turn your toes in. Fold. You can interlace your hands this time, so take a bind at the low back. Yogi's choice. Maybe hands want to come down again. Maybe you want a headstand this time because you missed it, or you want a second one, or you, whatever you need. What do you need? Be really different than what you want. <laughs> I know for me. Sometimes what I want to do, it's not going to be the most productive, beneficial thing, right? But what I know I need to do, like what's the best thing for me to do, it's kind of hard. It's going to be challenging. Not always. Sometimes just having that belief can be enough to sabotage it. Well, that's going to be hard, so I'm just not even going to try, right? Just easier to do nothing and do something hard. Release your fingers. Move into pyramids. So turn your toes forward. Step the back foot up. That back heel is on the ground, okay? So not so far back your heels lifted. You want to root down. Press the feet. Draw back your left hip bone. And fold. Let go the weight of your head. Press down into the four corners of both of your feet. The really active skin on the bottom of your feet pressing into your mat. Toe mounds. Legs, core. The upper body just melts. A couple more breaths here. In. And out. Halfway lift. Twisted triangle. Take your right fingertips up or your right fingertips to your low back. Oh, I'm on the right. I switched sides, so that's your left fingertips. My bad. Right fingertips to your left foot and twist. Take a breath in. Twist deeper. Left arm reaching. Left shoulder integrating. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. One more big reach up. Plant your hand down, take a breath in and step back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Come to high plank. 
lower all the way down to your belly yogi and right away pop up locusts like you're flying yeah arms back this is just airplane pose only one leg is not on the ground you've got both legs extended turn your pinky toes down integrate your shoulders take a big breath in stay for the breath out stay in the pose interlace your hands bound locust so your knuckles press back your collarbones the center of your chest lifting up and forward take a breath in yogi hold for the breath out you got this stay 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 and then release come down good work one cheek to your mat sway your hips from side to side Breathe in and breathe out. Come back up. Floor bow. Grab the outsides of your ankles. Kick back into your hands. Take an inhale. Take an exhale. Lift up. Squeeze in. Take another breath. Full, full breath. Lift up and release down. And she'll wipe your legs from side to side. Let's take a moment there. I'm just going to check the chat and see what's going on. Oh, awesome. Okay. So good. Just making sure. Not sure how the signal's been this morning. It always is scary when you're live streaming. We'll do one more floor bowl. Kick back into your hands. Flex your feet. Hog the pit of your belly and find a lift up. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in, breathe out, shin bones back, lift a little higher and release down. Come into upward facing dog right away, downward facing dog. Come down onto your knees, we'll move into one camel pose. Yeah, so camel can be lots of stuff, hands at your low back, can feel nice lifting through the chest. Some of you have the mobility, I'm sure, to go to your heels here, right? Lifting up through your chest. Feeling like a kaputasana today. That's going all the way back. Keep a lift through your chest. Press forward through your hips. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Again. Hold where you are. Slowly come back up. And come down onto your back. Take bridge. Whew. This is a good one this morning. I'm feeling like my body is feeling this. Take on your bridge pose. It's what you want, right? This practice is physical. Your body is working for you. Be in appreciation of that. Like grateful for what your body's got. Grateful for what is possible for you that you got out of bed if it's that time of morning, that you made time any time in your day to be here with me, moving, hopefully sweating, breathing. Lift higher. Really feel that, like your chest lifting, your hips lifting. Press the back of your skull. Take a breath in. Slowly come all the way down. Knees from side to side. And you will slowly come back up. We all. Maybe not slowly. Maybe you pop up. Whatever you've got right there. Go up into it. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Chest, hips, thighs, lifting up. Take a breath in. Squeeze and hold. Last one right here. Come all the way down. Tuck your chin. Knees from side to side. Two more wheels, okay? So see what you got. Go up. Check in. If you have something more in wheel, like whatever you've got, go for it. Try it on. Play. You can lift your heels. You can lift one leg at a time, one arm at a time, like whatever there is there for you this morning. You're peaking your practice. Accessing possibility. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. One more. Big inhale. Slowly come down with control. Whew. Knees from side to side.
And then we will take one more wheel. Go up. See what's possible. Check in. Potential right here. Like, if you think you can't, are you just thinking that or are you checking in with your physical body? What is it offering up? Five breaths. In. And out. Press. Rift. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Couple more. Feel it. Last one. Lift yourself. Squeeze it. And slowly come down. Supta Bada Konasana. The soles of your feet together. Your knees wide. Take your right hand onto your belly. Left hand onto your heart. Close your eyes. And just breathe. Breathe and take a moment to just appreciate how strong your body actually is, right? Really, actually do that. Regardless of where you are physically in your life, like just acknowledge that your body is strong for carrying you through whatever just happened on your yoga mat. If you made it this far, whatever you did was what your body needed. It was what it was offering to you today. And that's perfect. And if you held yourself back and you have the regret of the pal, like, I should have done this, I could have done that better, like, that, that's the learning. Yeah, next time, commit more fully. But right now, just commit fully to where you are. You're still practicing. This is a pose, and it's about resting. Really just letting your body, body acknowledge what just happened, the work that it just did. Breathe in, breathe out. Happy baby, grab the outsides of your feet. Just sway from side to side there. Really press as much of your spine into the floor as you can. Let the low back get a nice massage out. Breathe in, breathe out. Hug your knees into your chest, give yourself a squeeze. And press your heels up to the ceiling, hands underneath your low back, take a breath in, lower down a third. Pinky toes drawing back towards your face, keep the feet active down a third. Breathe in, 10 centimeters off your mat, look at your toes. Flex your toes, spread them out. Inhale your feet back up. Head and shoulders down. Lower your feet a third. Breathe in. Lower down a third. Core muscles engaged. Down 10 centimeters off the mat. Look at your toes. Point your toes. Flutter kick here like you're swimming for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Belly button pulling to your spine. 3, Two and one, toes together, feet flexed, and then lift up. Lower down a third. Head and shoulders on the ground here. Breathe in. Core strong. Down another third. Pull in. Look to your toes. Hover just off the mat. Scissor kick back and forth for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Feet together. Lift them up. Hands behind your head. Lift your shoulders now. So keep that lifted activation. Shoulders up, ribs to hips. Right heel one inch off the mat. Scissor legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Keep your shoulders lifting. Three, two, and one. Hug your knees in. Grab the backs of your knees. Rock front to back a few times. You'll bring yourself up to Navasana, boat pose. Okay, so any variation you've got here, take that on. 
engage the muscles of your legs. Ooh, and you might rock out. That happens to the best of us. Just come back, right? Begin again. That's part of this practice. Not dwelling in what you perceive as a failure. Ooh, my body is like holding on, right? You just work with it. Don't fight your body, yogi. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Your fullest possible expression. Squeeze. And then rock three times. Do that. And you'll make your way through the downward facing dog. And half pigeon on your right side. Bring your right shin up to the top of your mat. Keep that right foot flexed, yeah? So you're trying to keep that active as you come down. Sometimes I get a little cramp in my foot. That's okay. Just like check in. Find where your body can land, okay? So not painful. Supportive, maybe with a block underneath your hip, that can help. I always need it. Sometimes I need it. It's just really like, I guess, need is this really all relative, right? Mm -hmm. What you need one day, you might not need another day. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you always have to do that every time the opportunity comes up. You get exhausting. What do you actually need? Right? here. You can ask yourself that question all the time. You start to get comfortable actually answering it honestly. Yeah, we're not most of us used to answering that question. Really good at what other people need. What do you need, Yogi? What do you need to do to disrupt things, like to shake them up, get on track, Give up what you know you need to give up. The only options that you have are the ones in the present moment. You can't change the past. You can alter the future, but the only way you do that is by what's happening right here. Yeah. Unless you've mastered time travel. I don't think anyone's got that quite yet. Imagine the disaster that it would cause if you could, right? Actually. Sink a little deeper. <laughs> Watch back to the future. <laughs> That's all you need to do. Sink into it. Breathe in. Breathe out. The breath in and out. Sweep your back leg around. Seated single leg extension. So your left foot just off from center, right foot to your inner thigh, and then fold over the left leg. Just a few breaths here. Lengthen the spine. Lengthen that left leg. Breathe in. A little bit deeper. Last breath. And slowly come back up. And we'll move into half pigeon on the other side. I'm just going to sweep my legs around. If you want to do a vinyasa to get there, take it on. Your practice, yogi. Land though, yeah, as essentially as you can. Get into the other side. Come down into it. Settle into it. Create space there in your shoulders and all crunch up into your ears. Open up the upper body too. Just breathe. The simplest way to disrupt your thinking if it gets in the way, if it takes you away. Really put intentional focus on your breathing, the sound of it, the sensations, the movement that it creates in your body. You can have so much to focus on just around breath. It doesn't have to be so fiery. It can still be audible and intentional. It doesn't have to be like creating tapas anymore. Now we're trying to kind of let some of it go, starting to wind down.
Breathe in. Breathe out. Couple more here. Surrender even deeper. If there's somewhere else to sink into, find every millimeter, every sensation you can activate. Breathe in. Breathe out. Slowly come back up onto your palms. Back leg sweeps around. Seated single leg extension. Get your sit bones out of the way. Left foot to your inner right thigh and you fold over the right leg. Keep your belly pulling in. Create the space. Go deeper. Chest pulling towards your knee, your shin, really finding space in your upper body. Lengthen. Fold. One more. Slowly come up. Extend both legs out in front of you. Seated forward fold. Pull the sit bones back. Get them out of the way. You'll fold over your legs here. Toes face the ceiling. Pull the crown of your head towards your toes. Really getting those femur bones plugged into your hip sockets, your sit bones facing the back of your mat like your tail. You had a tail that's behind you, Yogi. You're not sitting on it, right? Get that out of the way. Hold deeper from that. Inhale. Exhale. Come back up. Move on to your back. Waterfall, you can take your hips onto a block or with your hands underneath your lower back. Option here, be Brita Karani. Option for you to take shoulder stand as well. So that's gonna take the hips all the way up. Hands at your low back. Your legs, everything's stacked, yeah? As best you can. Ankles, knees, hips, maybe shoulders even, like all stacked over each other. Legs are like the flame of a candle here, yeah? They're like a little bit of movements. Using the muscles, using your breath to keep yourself still, as still as you can. You press the back of your skull down to support the neck. Keep your airways nice and open. Take a breath in, take a breath out, and then the plow pose. If you're in shoulder stand, let your feet come behind your head. If you've got your hips on the block, just leave them where they are, that's fine. You get your toes to the ground, press your heels back. Open up the back of your legs, your spine. Press the back of your skull into the floor. Deaf man's pose, knees to ears. breath in. Take a breath out. One more breath wherever you are. And slowly come back onto your spine. Roll it out. Extend your left leg. Draw your right knee into your chest. And then you can pull that across your body. Supine twist. Keep your shoulders rooted. Open up the side body. Shoulders stay on the ground. This knee does not have to get all the way over, okay? So don't fixate on that. It can be up in the air. Still feeling plenty of stretch here. Side body opening up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Come back through center. Switch sides. 
left knee in, you draw it across the body. Keep the shoulder on the ground, nice and rooted here. Really big opening, big stretch. Keep breathing. Breath in, breath out. Come back to center. Give your knees a squeeze. And then release here. Shavasana, close your eyes. Rest in stillness for a few minutes. Just let your body land. Feel that appreciation for your body. Like really acknowledge all the work that it did just by giving it a moment to rest. Thoughts drift somewhere, bring them back, disrupt it by bringing focus to your breathing, your body resting on your mat, cool air on your warm skin, right here, right now, taking rest. A big breath in, big breath out, arms up over your head, reach your fingertips, lengthen from the tips of your fingers to the tips of your toes, and you'll roll onto your right side, slowly bring yourself up to a seated position, sit up tall, eyes stay closed. Hands to your heart center. We'll finish with one ohm together. Take a big breath in. Ooh. Thumbs to your forehead center. Thank you for flowing with me, Yogi, together. We bow and we say. Namaste. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you had an awesome flow. Um, please subscribe to the channel. More subscribers means more people see the videos, more people do yoga, and the world is just a better place than more people doing yoga. And there is more food content coming. I finally filmed Knife Skills 101, so keep an eye out. I'm gonna be editing that today and tomorrow. That'll be showing up really soon. More Zoom classes coming, lots of great stuff. So please um, subscribe, like the video, share it with anybody that might want to get in a good journey into power sequence, get some sweat on. I know I feel sweaty. And yeah, have an awesome rest of your day. Mr. B, come here. Come here. People always wonder where you are. Come here. Come say hi. Yeah. He just passes out literally right off camera every time. So he likes the yogas. Yeah. He does, I think, mostly. Yeah. Definitely likes to play on my yoga mat. <laughs> Keep moving your body, keep nourishing your body, stay connected to your yoga practice, yogis, and I will see you again really soon. Good work, buddy. He's got more celeb more fans than I do, this guy. <laughs> Pleasure, Carrie. I'm glad you enjoyed. <laughs> He'll take the hugs. Come here, come, come here. Come here, hugs, hugs, hugs. You got some hug requests. Yeah, you're getting virtual hugs. Virtual hugs. There you go. Done. He'll take them. <laughs> Have an awesome day, everybody.